this together. We're gonna have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap danced with Danny fucking K. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? Dinner was full! Ah, uh, yeah. You checked our shitters, honey? Clark. Happy holidays and welcome to Brew Crime! The show where we talk crimes, conspiracies, and anything that catches our attention. My name is JT, and I'm here with... Uh, Mike, I think. That's my name, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's Mike and Ike. It's Mike oh, and yes. Mike. Mike and Ike, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm more a fan of hot tamales, though. Well, I mean, you are one. Oh, hey, God. wink, 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 wink. <laughs> and know, you we know have our guest co-host again today. Hi, it's Sarai. <laughs> Hi, rhymes with Sarai. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you have know, a candy. <laughs> you, you, per per our, our our last episode, I think I'm going to call the police just to let them know that Mike's a hot tamale. <laughs> no, do I call British Columbia police or do I call Richmond? I don't know. We'll find yes. out. Well, you'd probably want to phone the RCMP. So yeah. mm, the RCMP. <laughs> Some of the cities here have their own police forces, so RCMP is what deals with my area. <laughs> I. I, I would I would live to see a live stream recording of just a bunch of Mounties circling your apartment complex and just moving in on you. <laughs> I'd be I'd be sneaking out fast. Yeah, yeah, that's my, you're my boy Blue. My bet's on you. Mike knows how to survive in the mountains. Yes. <laughs> oh, All right, gosh. JT. What you got yeah, for so us? You had a list last time, and I found a list this time, and I'm very excited to give you the United States Transportation Security Administration annual list of the strangest things seized at airports for 2022. Oh, my. I'll just, I'm you scared. Know, yeah. I'll bury the lead now. I'll bury the lead now. None of these are a dildo. Oh, wow. Okay. Aww. I know. I right? guess there's no point. You don't need to take those away. <laughs> Well, well, you know what? There's no comment I'm about to say that's any good, so I'm going to move on. All right. Unless it's got lithium batteries and it's uh, in your uh, stuff. <laughs> your check that luggage, because that's not allowed. Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Austin oh Danger Powers. Um, number 10 Cash Hidden in Hollow Crutches at El Paso International Airport. I can't, like, I mean, I guess that's a good space to do it. Yeah. I'm not quite sure why that's illegal, unless it's well, like drug money. I'm pretty sure the United States is the same as Canada. You have to admit anything over $10,000, don't you? Oh, well, yeah. Pro yeah, those are usually pretty consistent. And it's trying to get cartels and drug smuggling and all that kind of stuff. Can I, it's the main with, reason. Even with two crutches, I think if this guy smuggled over ten grand in them, I'd just shake his hand and be like, good luck. Because, <laughs> I mean, Wow. Ten grand wouldn't be that much in hundreds. Listen, Mike, that's not how people do things. They have brief briefcases of one dollar bills and a lot of them. <laughs> oh this my! Isn't the real world. This is okay. <laughs> Number nine: an inert grenade at Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport. I think I heard about that one. Didn't that like cause like a crazy stir? Yeah, it may or may not have actually been a brewery story from me. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> There might be one or two in here that, that, that I brought up, actually. It so happens. here you know, you know, we picked the very best for you all. That becomes part of a top ten list of the whole year. Yes. Just saying. Casey Kasem over here. All right. Number eight, a dismantled cattle prod in a guitar case at Washington Dulles International Airport. That's Why? an interesting one. I Yeah. Did they I have their le like leather dominatrix outfit in there, too? <laughs> I don't know what they're planning on doing. I mean, it, you know, it's not that you can, not just everybody can play the cattle prod. Okay. 
Mm. All right. Um, number seven, a gun inside a PlayStation at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Uh, <laughs> just why? Like, they yeah, have like... x ray machines. Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah. 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 I want, you know, I don't have the specifics in terms of were these in carry ons. You know, some of these things were obviously items on the person. Yeah. Um, but, like, I don't know whether that was in a suitcase and that just happened to be the one or two that they x rayed just to make sure. Um, but don't yeah, they x ray so every so. single one? Like, probably. I'm pretty I don't sure know. they do. I'm pretty sure they do like any kind of big electronic. So I mean, your first mistake was putting it inside in PlayStation. Yeah, (laughs) it's true. It's something. Hide it in your dildo. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, we got a ten grand dildo over here. (laughs) Jesus, I'm gonna keep it for my wife. Um. Number six is drugs hidden in hair scrunchies at Boise Airport. I don't have a hair scrunchie to look at, but I'd imagine I it's kind of difficult to do that. Yeah. I guess fentanyl's pretty strong, so if you put that in there, maybe, but... I wonder if they, like, baggied it really know. thin and, like, streamed it through, like, around the rubber, whatever, band piece, and then... Well, the, the scrunchies are the bigger ones, though, not just, like, a hair tie. Yeah. Like, they're the ones right. that... Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. That See, boggles just, the mind. Bo- <laughs> that's like way too much work for not enough gain. It is. Like, is this the world's largest scrunchie? It, right? Right? I got a lot of hair. I don't know why. It was why one from the 80s. Old, but... Ah, there we go. Oh, okay. And there's, All right. there's so much hairspray in that scrunchie, you really couldn't tell what was going on. <laughs> you might as well just wear Jinko jeans. Truly, like the big flare ones and just fit yes. everything there, you know? Anyways, it's on your person. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, man. Number five, a, a knife and a laptop. And that was at my very own Richmond International Airport. A knife and a laptop. Like, <laughs> like they literally put it like, bet- it, they had to kind of pop it, but it was pretty much between the battery, bright idea, and yeah. the computer right on the other side. So I guess he thought the battery would mask it. I don't know. It, it Why don't you just get like an older laptop with a CD slot and then sharpen the CD? <laughs> Or just right. buy a knife when you get there. Hold on. Wait, wait. We we need to, that, but we need to go back one and talk about how quickly Mike came up with that idea. <laughs> because I don't know if I'm comfortable traveling with you anymore. <laughs> I've, I've never traveled with Mike. I'm sure he's a wonderful companion to travel with. He gives you and, the window seat. Uh, I mean, JT, I can bring this one with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll go real well for both of us. Ugh. Or, Dude, or this I'm not one. ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to commit to be my own brewery story. I'm just not. Listen, I'm committed to the show, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, number I'm four. Trying out, in, you, huh? I'm trying to figure out how big of a knife you can bring on uh, carry on now in Canada. Jesus, a uh, knife with a six centimeter. I think that's like three inch blade and less is now allowed in uh, any destestination other than the United States. It's <laughs> basically. Um, so it's a army knife you can bring on the plane now. It's not the size. It's how you... All right. Anyways, moving on. All right. So <laughs> I can four. leave my shoes on, too. <laughs> hey, you can leave your shoes on. Um, number four is a gun in an arm sling at Frederick Douglass Greater Rochester International Airport. A gun in an arm sling. Why does it not surprise me? I mean, fucking he, guns. <laughs> he had some low, low like self-esteem that day and just wanted the TSA or somebody in an official capacity to ask him about his guns. He, he wanted his religi- religious exemption for his gun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Your religion can't be like... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to say um, Al Capone, but for some reason my brain went to Al Roker, and that's not how this works. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, oh, Al, get better, please. Um, number three, a firearm and a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> why because <laughs> not only does is that stupid but it can ruin your gun how do you get that peanut butter out of there like not you ever had um, peanut butter without having a drink <laughs> he says he sa- no he pulls the gun out and he says this is just like my thursday nights and he hands the gun to his dog <laughs> i hope you put it in a plastic bag first <laughs> um he might have actually um, okay, because I was like thinking wait. of just like 
gun in <laughs> jar. Wait, the gun, the gun in a plastic. Oh, you're you are talking about the gun. You're not talking about my yeah. other thing. Okay, cool. That's great. <laughs> What? Uh, I, you know what, Soraya, I'm so glad. On the other end of this, where Mike came up with something very quickly, you said you weren't even thinking about the bag, which tells me that you're not thinking about doing any of this stuff. <laughs> it makes me happy. Uh, I'll just set Sarai between me and Mike on the plane. <laughs> my peanut butter. <laughs> Don't There's a gun in butter. it. You got your gun in my peanut butter. You got your peanut butter in my gun. <laughs> oh, that sounds so wrong. Oh. <laughs> Yo, we hit the eggnog tonight. Um, All right. Uh, what number, number are we two. on now? <laughs> no, we're on number two. Um, oh, yeah. It is a, a gun inside of raw chicken. We covered this one. Oh, it was literally, geez. Sarai, have you heard about this? I have. You, oh, my God. It was a whole damn chicken. And they just, like, said, well, you're supposed to stuff it and just <laughs> put gun oh in there. Oh, my gosh. Um, Next time you use your gun, you're going to end up getting, like, some kind of foodborne illness because of the raw chicken. <laughs> I'm like, why is the chicken raw? You could have cooked it. <laughs> well, that was the confusing part is he's gotten away with this before. And then afterwards, every time that he fired it, he got hungry because he smelled KFC. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Finally, and I quote, there's no quote, it's just a list. Uh, fentanyl wrapped and disguised as sweets. Los Angeles oh, International geez. Airport. And I talk, we're talking, we're talking Skittles. Mm -hmm. So it was a Skittles bag that had been undone, resealed. Yeah. But when you opened it, it was literally just a ton of fentanyl pills. Oh, inside. my God. Um, and, and truly, I think the only reason they could tell that it wasn't actually Skittles is because the bag actually looked full. Um, because... <laughs> Dang it, Skittles, get your sh you and the chip companies. This is it's too full. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy <laughs> to control the people <laughs> by the reptilians. Um, I had to go and gate. check to make sure that Skittles were the same in the States as here. <laughs> oh, well, like what candy of... is that? Uh, I look it up. Oh. And while you're looking that up, there were other candies that were actually like switched out like whoppers and um i don't know if m&ms were one but like it was just like a bunch of fentanyl in these boxes like even even x-ray machines as far as i know can look through small tiny cardboard boxes or plastic bags you know yeah. I, i'm sure they take a look at it and be like you know what that looks like my friday night that does not look like <laughs> skittle hey i know what that is <laughs> <laughs> right that doesn't belong in there <laughs> no this oh, wait, is the maybe. whole Okay, yeah, they those look are definitely different than Canada. Really? Okay, well, now you got to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> we call rockets, and they're only available at Halloween. <laughs> Rightfully so. Rightfully. Yes. I mean, listen, if you yes. want to relive your days clapping, you know, erasers <laughs> and, like, breathing in the chalk, like, that's there's your smarty. Mm. <laughs> I, that's uh, right, I'm yeah, taking yeah. on the smarty company today. I'm taking them on. Big Smarty, that's what I call him. Uh, <laughs> anyways, there is just an increasing amount of ingenuity from these smugglers. They just happen to be shitty at it. Yes, yes. Happy belated Big surprise. holidays. Yes. Well, All right. hopefully you've enjoyed these last couple happy holidays that are just, uh, you know, like a week or two late. <laughs> yeah, they're just wandering in like your uncle at every Christmas dinner, just real late. Half clothed. That's not your oh God. experience. <laughs> Is that just me? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, thanks, everybody. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, and thanks again, Sarai, for joining us for these four. It's been awesome. Yes, thank you for having me. It was Our a pleasure. wonderful experience. Yeah. Ten out of ten just... would do again. Woo! Do you want to plug your show a little more again? Yeah, you can find me on Spotify, iTunes, whatever, uh, Freaky AF, and I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, at Freaky AF Pod as well, and yeah, that's that's me. The, <laughs> the conclusion and summary is, we love Sarai, and you will too. Yes, yes. You, will. you will. Say hi to Sarai. Oh, Ooh. that was a good one. <laughs> Merch idea. <laughs> Take it. <Woo> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. See you.